Alrighty guys, welcome back to another very special episode of Grim Reaper RC and today on the bench we have the HPI WR8 and it is an extremely special one because you guys can tell already by the video description and by the thumbnail that we have the 2013 body. This is for the Flux and it is brand new. We also have the 2013 mounted Gymkhana tire. These are the Course Torini wheel set and they are original, they're brand new and they are still in the package and today we're going to be setting up the HPI WR8 so that way we have the 2012 and the 2013 consecutive years for the WRC cars and the Global Rally Car Cross events that chem block raced with so let's get right into it guys but before we do make sure you guys like share comment subscribe and turn on the post notification button that way you guys always get updated whenever i upload a really cool informational or a part of chem block 43 forever build series so let's get right into it guys Oh, and this is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited for this. So on the bench, we have part number 115155. These are the mounted Gymkhana tire speedline course Torini wheel set cayenne blue. They are two piece. You guys can see all the information on them back here. And I did see a date on the back at one point, but we're not going to stare at that too long once we have this amazing beast in front of us. And we're going to be doing a comparison between these two very shortly. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So let's get set up just to take a look at this this is absolutely amazing again guys we have part number 115155 we have two of them right here absolutely amazing they are the same thing and then the piece de resistance right here we do have the hpi wr8 body as you guys can tell it is in all of its glory in the 2013 global rally cross spec it looks absolutely amazing. The body's basically brand new. You guys can tell none of the stickers are lifting and anything. Still in the package. Literally fully in the package. Still brand new. Stapled everywhere. You guys can tell that this body is brand new. So I'm extremely excited to crack into that. But let's just go over the chassis that we have underneath it real quick. So underneath we do have the uh, WR8 chassis. This is from the Subaru. You guys did see the unboxing that we did. We do have the Subaru car. And one of the things that we're going to do just to preset the car up is we're going to take these little shock links out. That way we can drop the car just a little bit more and make it have that Jim Gymkhana look that all of Ken Block's cars do have. So let's pull these out as best as we can. We may need to grab our multi-tool just to pull them out. I was able to get both of them out here. I actually did install the small one into the rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go over the body. So another thing that we're going to have to do to set up this onto the chem block body is we're gonna actually have to extend the body posts, I believe. So what we're going to do is, this was on the Subaru as I was telling you guys previously. So first off, we had to take this off and we are going to flip it around. And as you guys can tell, this goes on reverse onto the back of the shock tower. So what we're going to do is we're just going to screw them on very delicately onto at least two of them just to keep it locked into place. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can actually get the body onto here. And if we can, luckily, then we won't have to do any modifications. And if we do have to do some modifications, I already do have an idea. We're just going to add a few little bit of spacers into here just to rise it up. That way we don't have to get the extensions that are on the other HPI WR8. So let's go ahead and line this up. We'll push this on and then we'll take a look and see. So it does look like... We are going to need the extension for the posts. So we will go ahead and extend those up just a little bit. It seems like it's not too, too far away. So if we do get it to sit fairly close to that, then we will be able to have it good. All right, guys. So I do have an idea for that. So let's fix that and then we'll get the body on. All right, guys, so here is the other tower that does fit the HPI WR8. You guys can tell it is the real chem block car because it does have the chem block straps. So I did take out the screw that held the post in, did take the post out, and I put a new screw on the inside of it with a nut holding it down right here. If you guys can see, let's get it to focus, get it to focus. 
Let's put you over here, see if it focuses. Let's focus, please focus. Put my hand behind it like every other YouTuber does, see if it focuses. There we go, so I put a nut below it and I put a nut on top to stop the body post from going down further. And we're going to go ahead and screw this into here and then we're gonna tighten it down as much as we can or at least until it is about at the right height of where it should be you guys can see that it did extend it up and it is pretty sturdy as of right now so let's see that is about the right height that we need but i think we can get at least one or two more turns into it and then we're going to go ahead and tighten this nut up to it and then we're just going to give it a nice turn one more nice turn and then this is going to be nice and sturdy see the only thing moving is the tower itself so now we're going to just give it one more line up and you guys can see that it is basically the same height so we're going to go ahead and repeat this process to the other side screw it on and then we'll get the body going all right guys so we got the shock tower figured out and it is fairly sturdy you guys can see that it's moving the whole car here so what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to open up the package for the wheels and tires and put the wheels and tires on so let's go ahead and do that right now this is absolutely crazy these are about 10 years old at the time of this filming maybe even more there's no going back now they are open nothing we can do about it boom so now there's no reason not to open the other pair because we open these so they are directional as you guys can tell we flip them one way one of them is going the wrong direction so the wave does go forward so this is for a left and a right perfect so we're gonna go ahead and install those right now absolutely insane these are the gold subaru rims and those were on nice and tight this is a brand new chassis on here absolutely insane we're gonna go ahead and put that on underneath so that we have a little bit of height here and we're gonna make sure that we're putting the right one on this is already looking so cool guys absolutely awesome so we're going to go ahead and put this in here now nice and tight squeeze on the inside of the rim to screw the nut on which is very good and we lost the other tire all right guys so we got the other tire on and the video is going to be a little bit longer than we expected so make sure you guys stay tuned for the second part of this video that is coming up very shortly and that is basically it for grim reaper rc today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share comment subscribe and turn on the post notification button that way you guys get notified whenever i upload a really cool or informational video just like this one and i am leaving you guys with kind of a cliffhanger here but here's a little bit of a sneak peek of the car